guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom figure, and it is another one of those larger figures that were uh, found at Kohl's. I happened to randomly stumble upon them, and I did review the two Velociraptors that I had found from that little area, and this guy is the Pachycephalosaurus. So as you can see, he is definitely a pretty big Pachycephalosaurus, and is definitely the biggest so far in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom line. I don't know if they're going to be making any bigger ones, but I do have the uh, smaller version and um, there's also the legacy version. I have both of those. He's definitely significantly larger than those, but he also has less articulation. So he's got the uh, plus side of being bigger, but um, a little bit of a downside as far as the articulation goes. But overall, it's a very nice Pachycephalosaurus. Sculpt-wise, it's beautiful. One of the pluses of this guy is I don't feel like the feet are overly large on him as opposed to most of the other dinosaur toys from this line. I feel like his feet are definitely proportioned much better to his body than um, a lot of the other ones are. They might be a little bit bigger. I can't really tell too much, but honestly, I don't think so. I think they actually look pretty good to the compared to the rest of the body. Um, the detail overall is also very, very nicely done on this. Uh, I, the sculpt work is beautiful, and the paint isn't terrible. There's just not really too much going on as far as the paint. There's really only the green color, which is the primary color of the body, and then that little bit of like a bluish type of a color that runs down along the back, and it only runs from right here behind the head to right here where the tail starts its uh, articulation. That's really it. Other than that, there is pretty much no coloration at all. It does have a little tiny bit as far as of hints of like these little tiny dots that some of the dinosaur toys have had. It has that going on here and there as well, but honestly, there's not too many of them. I feel like there's a lot less of those than there are on most of the other figures. But other than that, beautiful model. Let's take a closer look. So starting up here and taking a look at the head sculpt, you can see that the head sculpt is really, really nicely done on this Pachycephalosaurus. The eye is painted and it is glossed. You can see as I turn it there, it's just a black color. There's no pupil or anything else. And uh, the gloss looks very good though, so that is a plus. The eye definitely helps to bring the creature to life a little bit. You can see looking up here on the domed head that uh, there are definitely some nice cracks and crevices that have been sculpted into it pretty well, along with these little spikes that come out and uh, run along the back of the head and then they come up here into the front. They all look really, really nice. I'd love to take this guy and repaint him. In fact, I might buy one just to repaint and maybe see if I can get him to look like the Lost World Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, definitely something I can do one day probably when I run out of other things to paint. Taking a look here, nice and close, you can see that the sculpt work is really beautifully done all over this Pachycephalosaurus. The sculpt work is just fantastic, as with all of the Mattel models, really. They've all been pretty darn nice. And you can actually see, I was saying about the coloration, but for some reason, looking at the body, it's primarily that greenish color, but these arms are a little bit of a brighter green than the rest of the body. I don't know why, but I hadn't noticed that previously. But yeah, it's a little bit of a different shade of green. Not too much, but definitely a little bit. And actually, the feet down here are also slightly different, just ever so slightly a different shade of color than the rest of the uh, body. So that's interesting, but nothing terrible at all. You can see that the arms have beautiful detail. The sculpt work is really nice. Taking a look there. Nails are not painted or anything, but uh, they still look really nice. They actually don't have a gloss on them, which is something that a lot of the other figures did have. I don't know why they didn't include it on here. But um, they did include the gloss on the toenails, but not on the fingernails. But well, you can see coming back here along the side of the stomach, the detail is just fantastic everywhere. Some nice skin folds down here, and then we come up here, you can see some more skin folds here around the hip area. And just look at how nice the back is sculpted. Very nice, big, big scales here and there. It looks beautiful all over. So much time has been spent just on the sculpts of these Mattel figures and you can see looking down here in the leg some very nice muscle tone again there's one of those little white or yellowish type spots that I was talking about that some of these figures have but like I said this one really doesn't have too many just here and there there's a couple not very many and then looking at the front of the leg you can see 
beautiful sculpt work the whole way down. Nice, uh, nicely sculpted feet. Again, the toenails are sculpted nicely and they do have that gloss to them. They're not painted any different than the rest of the body, but they do look pretty good. Definitely a different uh, coloration as far as the paint would have been definitely better, but it's not that big of a deal. And then coming up here on the back of the, uh, right behind the leg, you'd see nicely sculpted detail that runs the entire length of the tail all the way out. And actually right there you can see again the point of the tail here, this little tip is a slightly different shade of color as far as the green goes than the rest of the body again. It's not much of a different shade, but just a little bit of a slightly different shade. And honestly looks like uh, I can pick up the difference in coloration much better on the camera than I can with my own eyes, which is very strange because honestly with my own eyes I don't really notice it too much, but on here I can definitely see that there is just a little bit of a different shade of color in those little areas. And then looking at the other side, we'll take a quick glance. You can see it looks beautiful the whole way through. Absolutely awesome everywhere. The sculpt work of this guy is just fantastic. They did a great job all over the sculpt of this Pachycephalosaurus. Even on the underside, again, nicely done detail everywhere you look, even on the bottom of the feet. They didn't skimp out anywhere, honestly. Everywhere on this guy looks awesome. One thing that is a little strange to me is just how skinny this guy is. As you can see, and even taking a look up here, he's very, very skinny. So uh, a bit malnourished, but a beautiful Pachycephalosaurus. And as I was saying, as far as the articulation goes, you can move his legs back and forth, but the other ones have the ability to move them up and down. These guys do not. Same with the arms, back and forth, but they don't move up and down. The tails, however, uh, do move up and down like that, and then back and forth. So you have that kind of mobility, and then the ankles also can turn. You can actually turn the feet almost all the way around. But um, that's it, that's as far as that, that's all the uh, articulation you've got when it comes to this Pachycephalosaurus. I would have expected, just like the Velociraptors, to have a little bit of articulation in the head, but no dice, I don't know why. Not a big deal, but um, yeah, it could have been a little better as far as the articulation, but it's still a very, very cool figure, and just based on the sheer size alone, makes this an awesome addition to any Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom collection just because like I said it's a much bigger Pachycephalosaurus. As far as the size goes from the tail to the head you are looking at about 14 inches and about 35 and a half centimeters and then height you're looking at just under 7 inches and probably about 17 and a half centimeters somewhere in that area so yeah Beautifully sized, very, very big Pachycephalosaurus. To show you how tall he really is, there's the Papo T-Rex. And you can see that the uh, Pachycephalosaurus is actually, I apologize that the T-Rex is facing but the other way, but just to give you an idea of how tall the Pachycephalosaurus is, you can see he's actually taller than the Papo T-Rex. So he kind of doesn't really dwarf the T-Rex, but he is definitely bigger. So as far as the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom line goes, this is definitely a very cool figure. I love Pachycephalosaurus, so any Pachycephalosaurus figure is a cool Pachycephalosaurus figure to me. And this guy looks awesome. His sculpt is really, really reminiscent of how he looks in the Lost World, so I do really want to paint one up like a Lost World Pachycephalosaurus. I've just got to go and go run to Kohl's and rebuy another one if they have any more in stock because when I had actually purchased this guy and the Velociraptors and Owen which are all to this uh, same bigger scale they're not in scale with each other but they're definitely bigger scale than the others but when I had purchased them I went back the next day to see if I could find any more of the uh, Kohl's figures that they had that other places didn't have yet and unfortunately they were all sold out of these guys so Hopefully I can locate another one of these Pachycephalosaurus figures at some point and uh, yeah, buy one, repaint them and show you guys here on the channel. As far as a price, I believe these guys at Kohl's are $11.99, but they do run some kind of specials usually where they'll give you, I think they're 10% off already of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom figures. And then you can get probably another 20% off um, because they just randomly have coupons all the time that you can get at the front of the store. And if you actually apply for a Kohl's credit card, I believe you can actually get even more off as far as these guys go. When I initially had purchased this guy, 
after all their discounts I paid like six dollars and like some odd cents for them so a very cheap price for something that's this big and beautiful a great figure again from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom line as if they are ever gonna stop just non-stop beauty out of this line absolutely love Mattel for what they're doing for Jurassic Park and Jurassic World with these figures so if you do want to buy this guy like I said head to your local Kohl's and check and see if they've got him in stock because he's pretty darn awesome and please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next review thanks for watching